So yeah. how should someone like me build more intention into the day? Sometimes it's helpful to check in throughout the day. Oh, I, maybe, I don't know, I'm not feeling that. Why is it causing you anxiety? What are you worried about? He writes back like a minute later. I don't want to talk about that. Like, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming, oh, I believe in this dream I've been dreaming, oh, I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming, oh, I believe in this dream I've been dreaming, oh. It's here, it's happening, Dr. Tess in the house, here sure. to change my life and rebuild a human. Uh, <laughs> we have the technology. Right? Come on, the intros are always fantastic. <laughs> Yeah. How do we fix Evan this month? Well, I don't know, Evan. How broken are you this month? That's the question. I feel like I'm, I need to be more broken. You need to be more broken? You want me to right? break you and then put you back together? Yeah, like some let's kind of can we do that? Toy? Oh, it's so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> pick me, pick me, pick me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one strange cat, my friend. <laughs> well, I know that. No, That's I know not you the know problem. That. That's not their problem. That's not their problem. How's your book going? Good. I causing me anxiety. Actually, this is great. So, um, mm -hmm. my homework right now is I need to reach out to people. Uh, so Brendan Burchard tasked me with asking people to uh, read the book. So right. the people that I profile in on my channel uh, yeah. are all like thought leaders, different different backgrounds, but fairly well known. Um, mm. And I've done a lot to help them. A lot of people over the past years. And the idea is uh, he, he wants me to get people to read like two sentences or three sentences, like hold up the book and read two sentences yeah. from the book, right? Uh, and, and so I asked him, hey, will you be my first one? And he said, yes. So that's great. So we did that. Nice. Yeah. But I recorded that. I, that's, that's pat on the back. Like, good job, Evan. Nice. Uh, when I was yeah. in Puerto Rico. Now I'm reaching out to people and I, I built my first list of people who are, you know, I'm asking to to read and it's causing me anxiety and stress and why is it why is it causing you anxiety what are you worried about you're worried about them saying no or you're worried about imposing on them what, do, what are you worried about i'm always worried about disappointing people so i'm worried that like i haven't done enough to help them uh and it's all it's all it's all fear right like i'm doing it i just hmm. i look at the phone and i get anxiety and then i procrastinate for a little bit and i and i still do it um, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's just recognizing yeah recognizing the fear and and some people write back and some people don't and some people ask questions and i got a couple of people already who who agreed to like oh my god it's happening it's cool <laughs> um it's good yeah but the worry is you know i haven't done enough over the past you know whatever five ten years mm -hmm. to help these people mm -hmm. Some, mm -hmm. some people I know better than others. Some people will do like mm -hmm. whatever because I've helped them so much and mm -hmm. others I don't know that well and I've helped them a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so I'm still asking and we'll but doing see. it anyway. Yeah. That's like, that whole, you know, that whole field, feel the fear and do it anyway. Kind that's of thing. it, right? Yeah. Like yeah. they, I sent them in, I, you know, some of them are texting, some of them are email, but like one guy sent an email. Mm -hmm. I asked him, he didn't write back, but I sent him an email about something about his channel and he wrote back right away. He's like, well, but what happened to the first email that I sent that was about the book read, right? So I was like, I, I don't follow up, right? I mean, that's part of the game. I don't look forward to it. It causes me anxiety, but, um, but that's, I gotta, I gotta do it. So we're doing it. It's yeah, yeah, you gotta do it. And I also, I also think don't be afraid. I, don't be afraid to re-ask. Like, no, no, I, I will. Um, no, no. And, and what, but what I mean, what I mean by that, like in the current climate, email is. Oh yeah, getting lost. The books are getting, getting lost. lost. Yeah. Multiple yeah. books have have like sent to these people. Um, even like Dean Graziosi, if you know Dean, do you know Dean mm. Graziosi? Yeah, mm. I'm using his book guy, like his warehouse, Dean's warehouse. I'm using the same guy from my warehouse in the U.S. and and uh, Dean's book, like, never got there, and it's from his own guy. Right. And, and, but it's like, can you, yeah. can you send me another one? I'll, I'll buy one on Amazon. Like I want to have one. Right. So it's, it's happening. And I'm sure we're like, yeah. maybe it went, it got stolen or just got lost or whatever. I'm yes. Logically that makes sense. Hmm. Emotionally it doesn't emotionally. It's of course they saw it. They first off, they got my book and they hated it and they threw it away. Now I'm emailing them 
<laughs> and of course they saw it and they laughed at me and then threw it right i mean this is what <laughs> wow that story it's not I that bad it. it's not that bad no, it's not that bad but but, but it but, is what we do it is yeah, what of we course do, of course we, we of fill course. in the blanks we fill right. in the blanks you know our brain is designed to do that like to okay. fill in the blanks like you know your eyeballs i love this little bit of anatomy fact like your eyeball where your pupil is in your eyeballs that you don't see that bit like there's a gap in your vision all the time and your brain fills in the gap like you cannot see where your where your um optic nerve connects okay yeah, that that's a that's a gap in your receptors in your visual field right okay so your brain fills in the gaps and we do the same with stories in our heads right we do the same with something hasn't happened we haven't got an answer so our brain fills in the gaps okay you know? tells us a story and interestingly it's always a story to make us feel bad why do we do that why do we do that I, I don't know. Why are you asking me? You're the you're the oh. expert. You're well. the mentalist here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a mentalist. Oh my god. What even is a mentalist other than a television show? I mean, seriously. <laughs> yeah, hey, listen, man, I believe in mentalists. I think mentalists are real. Oh, I don't know what it means, is what I'm saying. I don't know what it means. Oh, I don't know oh they, 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 they they plant thoughts. Like they can they can make you do things. They plant thoughts. Oh. Yeah. So uh -huh. it's like I could make you write down the number forty three. Right. Okay. Or I can make I can make you write down your your first boy like I'll figure out your first boyfriend's name by asking you a series of questions. Like, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, I believe in that stuff. I, I I don't. I feel like I almost do some of that when I'm talking to people and coaching them. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah. you do too. But um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah. So I guess it's a. Then it's not what we're talking about. That, yeah. That's what we're talking about today. But, it was but, a very but, good keep TV show. Except but we just breath, basically so. agreed that Tess is a mentalist. That's what I called her, and now we've come full no, circle on no, it in no, a very no, quick no, amount of time. Yeah, okay. So no, I'm not a mentalist, I'm a psychologist, stop it. Um, I think the... Um, <laughs> like you're both, I mean, it's a, it's a dash. Okay. It's not just it's one thing. Can you, can so you put, band, listen, can you put Tess Crawley in a box? I don't think so, fam. It's not how we roll here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's not how we roll. We do not, right? boxes can't roll. Boxes cannot roll. Um, <laughs> Mm. Okay, so why do we, why do we, why do we fill in the blanks with a negative story? I don't think there's a single answer to that, but I think that we all have our own answer to that. You know, like what stories have we picked up over the course of a lifetime? You know, like that whole, you know, like a snowball gets bigger as it rolls along. Yeah. You know, or as you push it along to make a snowman. It's like, it's like we gather that stuff across the course of a lifetime. So it might be fear of criticism or it might be rejection or it might be fear of disappointing. We've talked about that before. And I think that the important thing is not acknowledging when we're doing it and going calling bullshit on it. Because that's yeah. what I think you're doing, right? That's what you're doing. You're saying, yeah, yeah. ah, yeah, hang on a minute. Let's not buy into that story. Well, but I don't know how much the, uh, uh, I don't know. For me, I guess it's just, I've shortcut the thinking process because yes, I can tell myself, oh, mm -hmm. maybe just maybe it did get lost. Maybe they maybe they did see it and they just forgot. And maybe they do have a thousand emails and maybe they're trying to move their big organization all remote. And my request is not top of inbox right now, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I just the way to shortcut it, at least for me, is just because I'm afraid I'm going to do it. Yeah. As soon as I yeah, catch yeah. the anxiety, I think it's just as fast to start thinking logically about it as it is to just do it. Just do the thing. So I just yeah, do the thing. Exactly right. But today I had one of the, I'm looking at his face right now on my phone. Can I move that away? I don't want to keep looking at him. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so I tell him, listen, I'll make it easy for you. This is a huge guy, like millions of, you know, subscribers, followers. Um, I, I'll, mm. I'll, I'll find the quote in the book that matches your brand. Mm. Right? Yeah. I'm not expecting them to read the whole book and then find the thing they like the most and then that's what they're going to read, right? I'll find the quote that matches your brain. And uh, so I spent an hour like going through my book. I was first going through his Instagram, seeing what he's talking about, what he's posting and right. Um, mm -hmm. Like, oh, he's talking about this. Okay, great. I, I think I know. So I go through my book, find mm -hmm. it, take a screenshot, highlight it, send it to him. And uh, he writes back like a minute later. I don't want to talk about that. Like, Oh my God. <laughs> Cause now he was kind of, I already feel like he's on the fence and now he's 
reject, like if I don't nail the next one, he's out for sure, right? He's like, oh, maybe Evan, I don't know. Maybe like this isn't going to be a good fit, right? He's already kind of borderline, got all these other things on his plate. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, I'm on it. And I go back, like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. so I keep reading through my book and I find like, oh, I think I got a good one. And then I, I gave him, it's, a, it's an easy one where it's not even, um, it's not even me talking. I'm talking about like mm. a, a study that was done and he loves like mm. putting statistics and stuff. So I gave him that and he right back. I love it. Like, yes, we got it. <laughs> right now he still has to do it. I still have to connect with his assistant and give him the script and like all of the, get it off his oh, phone and thing. give it to me and all this, you know, all the, all the mess. It's still going to be another 30 emails probably before I get anything back. But um, yeah, I don't look forward to it at all. But uh, mm. I'm I'm excited that I'm doing it anyway, and mm. uh, pat myself on the back for it. I think there's something about asking that feels wrong. Like I know when I was a child, and my my dad liked to dispute this. <laughs> my dad used to say to me, like if I was asking, like if I was you know trying to implement pesca power, my dad's response was, "If you ask, you don't get," and that was his way of shutting me up because then I'd stop. And if I'd say, but why? He'd say, because why is a crooked letter? And then I'd really stop. But, um, why is a crooked you know, so letter? But, because why is a crooked letter? I don't know. How is it crooked? Is that a well, thing? This is the issue. That, Wait, do see? people say that? Watching, well, my father did. That's the thing. People thing say, was, why is a crooked letter meaning? I'm looking it up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because why is a crooked letter? Oh, another one. Another one they used to say, you can look this one up. I'd say, hey, dad, where are you going? And he'd say, and it would be considered a terribly racist statement now, so maybe I shouldn't say it. Wow, but, wow. Well, wow, maybe Trish. not really. Or maybe wow. just, just no, culturally inappropriate, cultural reappropriation. Right. That's what it is. That's don't, what it is, cultural reappropriation. Don't apply oh, your mentalist magic and make me say it. No, okay. He would say, I'm off to get a wigwam for a goose's bridal. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what that means either, but it would shut me up every time. Like that. Then Why you say, Dad, that, that makes now? no sense. Like, when did that test come out? <laughs> the point Explain of that these to me. Stories, the point of these stories, the point of these stories was that, you know, the whole uh, um, pester power thing and asking, and if you ask, you don't get, it actually became a little bit ingrained in me. And so I would actually not ask for things. So I would be at a friend's house starving hungry, even as an adult. And I wouldn't say, hey, mate, you've got something I can eat because I'm starving. I would sit and not say anything because I'd right. had this sort of ingrained in me that you shouldn't ask. So I know it's really hard to ask and it feels really icky. And I think that is a message that we get somehow, uh, even, even with the best of you know, intentions, parents, teachers, those that we look up to growing up, somehow manage to perpetuate these stories about what's appropriate, inappropriate. And then we bring them with us into our adult conversations with each other and it makes us feel small, it makes us feel like we're not allowed or we're doing something wrong sometimes. Do you resonate with that, Evan? <laughs> uh, I mean, as, as you're talking about it, I'm, I'm just trying to think, okay, well, what's the great end? Like, mm. so what do you do about mm. it? Yeah. My only solution is you do it. So that's what I do, but maybe there's something better. Maybe... I don't know. Oh, I mean, no, 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 no. You just no, do it. I agree with you. You do it. You do it anyway. You do it anyway. And I mean, this is the whole, we can apply that to anything though. We can apply that to asking. We can apply that to putting yourself out there on social media. We can apply that to writing a book. We can apply that to pretty much anything in life. There are lots and lots of stories we tell ourselves that will stop us if we let them. And that's the trick is to hear them, which you're good at, hear them and don't let them stop you because they're just stories. They're not facts. Thoughts are not facts. Well, but, unless but you're thing, thinking like, about a fact. <laughs> yeah, but but it could be too. Like maybe they did see the book and hated it. Like that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But you can't know that unless you ask the question. And are you going to ask the question? And if you if you're going to spend your time mind reading, that's just another story. And, and, the alternative unless, to mind reading is to ask the question, and you're not going to ask that question. Yeah, unless you're a mentalist found, like Tess Crawley, you won't be able to mind read. So oh my God. Don't, just give up on it and just do it anyway. <laughs> it's very sunny yeah. already. What, what, you, usually when we're talking, I get to see the sun come up. Yeah, it's already up. What's happening? Yeah, but you very kindly 
made our time a little bit later. So it's 8.30, quarter to nine, something oh, like that. Oh, is that what we did? Is this a different time? It is a different time. Do you not notice? Oh, I don't know. Whatever Sandra <laughs> puts in my calendar is what I do. Yeah, right. Okay. I, cool. I, I look forward to our like... I look forward to our times too. But it was getting to like 7 a.m. And I'm just like, I'm not even... No. No. I'm not oh, doing okay. it anymore. Oh, oh you... you okay, okay, okay. You, you asked for the time change, not not our side okay because i was about to tell Sanja, listen we need to go back to i want to see the sunrise in the background this is is like killing my vibe right now okay no no if you ask i'm just here for your southern hemisphere sunrise (laughs) no it's it kills my vibe if it's too early i can't be too noisy because i can't justify that's okay listen when when i do this with mark drager there's no sunrise happening in the background i mean this is that's probably special i know i know right right. Okay, All so right. I, ju- I just so, have to keep doing it. I'm doing it. And, and so what I've done actually that helps is these are also people that I brought, you know, I have brought mm-hmm. and continue to bring value to. And so on Wednesdays is my, is my book day. And so that's when I'm in ask mode and following up and saying, hey, have you got it yet? You need me to send the book again. The tracking number is here. How about this quote or whatever? Um, and then Fridays I use as my value add day. So I, com- I compartmentalize them differently. Like today I'm asking and today I'm bringing value. And so it's the same person I might be following up with on the Friday, but I'm just helping them with their YouTube channel or making a connection mm-hmm. or an intro or some guidance or advice or something that I, I can help with. Mm-hmm. I, and it bleeds. Like the guy today, I was helping with something else. And then he said, oh yeah, and about the book. And so, you know, I'm not going to wait till no, next no. Wednesday then to do it. But I find that <laughs> yeah, that helps that as weird. well. Yeah. yeah. Let me get you yeah. something on Wednesday. No, let's go. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love that. Actually. Um, I'm in the process of, uh, for myself, but also with my, some of my coaching clients talking about rejigging, you know, your daily diary. And I like the model that you've got. And I've actually been inspired by that a little bit, that structure to your week that you have. That's quite, it's quite rigid in some ways, obviously fluid in others um, yeah. to, to, compartmentalize and organize mm. the multitudinous tasks that entrepreneurs have to tackle let, each week. Let me tell you something, a recent addition I haven't talked a lot about that, that's mm. been really helpful. Um, within the day, I yeah. like, uh, I actually find, and this is maybe me, it, it maybe doesn't apply, but I find that um, in the mornings, I'm, it'd be a lot hard. 7 a.m. for me would be a disaster. Like, I would do it, but it'd be, it'd be brutal. I don't, I don't have anything official on my calendar typically until 1030 in the morning. Yeah. Cause the mornings yeah, yeah. for me, I'm great at like research and planning and mm-hmm. looking at data mm-hmm. and just like hug my wife and then full on introvert mode. Yeah. Uh, but then afternoons I'm much, I like, I come alive and it's so I've divided my day so that my mornings are, are strategy and planning mm. and introvert. And then my afternoons are creation expression. So on like my Tuesday, which is YouTube day, the morning will, will all be my analytics and data and planning and scripting and all that. And then the afternoon is filming. Yeah. And I yeah. find that, that that's such an amazing rhythm for me mm. at least. Mm. So anything is creative or, or, you know, uh, talking to people is afternoon and anything planning introvert is in the morning. And then I divide yeah, it with, yeah, yeah. um, I go live at two o'clock, uh, two o'clock. I think it's, I have to look at my calendar. I live by my calendar. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. yeah right. Two o'clock. I go live at two o'clock on my Instagram and that's yeah. the split of the day for me. So like it's ah. all introvert up until yeah. two o'clock. Yeah. I go live on Instagram and mm. I start connecting with my audience and they're asking me questions mm. and, and then I'm getting to extrovert mode. How energizing is that, right? Yeah, it's I always great, that. right? Always and so great, yeah. I, I, I often try to, I try to bring people in. Mm. So there's, it's always me and somebody. And then I take that energy into then creation mode, whether it's making videos or even writing emails because I'm, I'm still picturing people. Like when I'm writing an email, it's to a person, not just a list, yep. right? Yeah. And now I've just interacted with people through the Instagram line. Anyway, no. so that's a little hack that I've added that, um, I like that. I think that's yeah. really smart. In fact, a lot of, a lot of other people that I know in this space have a later start to their day, um, for similar reasons. They're in introvert mode. They're in, you know, self-reflection mode or, 
use that time for just getting their head clear and then before, you know, really diving into. And, and a lot of them, you know, obviously myself included, are mothers and entrepreneurs. So they've also got, you know, the children and getting the day sorted. Now we're all in lockdown and the kids aren't at school. It's slightly different, but it's actually, um, it's actually expand, for me, it's expanded the introvert element and it's harder for me to break out of it because we you know Mm. we're meant to be staying home and doing nothing um working hard but from the same space i think that for me the the structure of the days across the week is something i'm still now that we've had all this change i had a good structure across the days of my week plus i've sold my business so it's also changed the or one of my businesses Yes. So it's um thank you. So it's changed the demands on my time. So I mean, I was in the process of restructuring how my daily diary or my weekly diary works, and now all of the isolation stuff thrown into yeah. the mix has changed everything again. And so you know, a lot of people are really struggling with, and I think this applies to most people actually, are really struggling with the day to day of how do I structure my time so that there's some time for the kids to be learning from home. Mm-hmm. There's some time for me to be working from home and there's some time for me to just get my head straight. Cause this is a crazy time we're living in. And, um, so, okay. So I got yeah. something on that, but first I like how I was doing this, like celebrating dancing and you just went, no, you went like raw strong. You went like flexing biceps on me there. I, I like that. That, that. I sold my business. <laughs> <laughs> One of them, but yeah, uh, it is. that was I great. That was great. That. I like yeah. that. Um, okay. Mm. So here's something. So my, my morning. So today I woke up mm. and I started, I got up at six 30. Um, and I just started working on, I had a new idea for a thumbnail for my YouTube channel. And yeah. I just started making my thumbnail, right. And like mm-hmm. making it and crafting it and launching it. And then, and then I've looked at it like another 50 times already today. Cause I love making yeah. something and then just looking at it. It's like, I made that. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> do you not do that? Do you not look at your own work and just admire it? Of course it? I do. <laughs> yeah, it's I great. Do. And like, I'm hoping it does well. I can't wait for it to, the, I launched today, but I won't get data for another like four days. Mm. But mm. anyway, um, one of the things mm. that I have on my, my agenda to try to figure out is something that came from Brendan Bouchard actually, where every morning he sits down and he plans his day with intention. He already has his day scheduled, but he'll look at the schedule and then say, okay, with Dr. Tess at 6.30, Hmm. how do I want to show up? Who do I want to be? What do I want to make sure that I bring up or talk to her about or recognize or validate in her or celebrate? Like he'll go through, he'll look at his calendar and Hmm. go through each step and just try try to be really intentional from the outset and he'll sit down with his drink. I don't know if it's coffee or tea. I forget. And I think it's green tea, but any, and he spends like every morning is how he starts his day. I'm struggling a lot with that. Uh, I just want to get to work. (laughs) So at six 30 in the morning, I'm not thinking about 12 hours later when I'm with Tess, what I want to talk about or my intention or what I want to validate or recognize in her. Mm. Um, so I'm, I'm waking up and I'm just, I'm getting to work on something introvert mode, just me by myself yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. toying away at something. Um, yeah. so I'm trying to figure out, I don't feel like I'm not, I'm, I don't feel like I'm massively anti, uh, intentional. I just haven't figured out how to, I, I tried how he does it. I can't. I think that's find the different value in for it everybody. Yeah. Like, no, I've I, know, got, I, know, I, I know. I drag this around with me kidding myself really and mel robbins i love your guts if you ever happen to watch this i've met mel i've met her team beautiful people she's got this fabulous five second journal plug for mel robbins sorry um and it's got her system Mm -hmm. yeah everybody loves mel right it's got her system for starting her day and it literally takes it's a five minute thing i carry it around with me thinking Mm -hmm. I'm going to get into that system. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's two years since I met Mel, you know, and I'm still not doing it. Oh, and, and that was a um, life changing moment for you too, right? Like that totally, decision. Totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. Totally. That was a you spark. That story. Big yeah. story. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and then you met but, me. Uh, I mean, holy cow. Oh, 
right? No turning back. No turning back. Do you know what? It's a, it's a year. And this morning, it's a year today since I woke up in LA for that trip to the States where we hung oh, out in New York. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm thinking yeah. Mel Robbins oh. trip had to be like... No, that was two years ago. Yeah, exactly. No, more. two years ago. Two years. Two years? No, it's like two and a half or three. It's cool. It's more. No, it was May. Was it May? And it was, it was May in 2018. Yeah. Right. Okay. It was just before a whole lot of crap went down in Listen. the business. Can we oh, just, the life changing stuff happened that year. Can, can we, we just recognize the past two years for Dr. Tess Crawley, right? A big couple of Holy years. Holy cow. That's some... I'm writing a book now. Did I tell you I'm writing a book now? How's your course? Did your course come out? My course, suddenly, th there's some skates under my course. So the videos are finished. I don't even know the... what that means. There's some skates under my horse? Course? Course, under my course. <laughs> There's I don't some have skates a horse, under my life, course. I don't, I mean, either way, I don't understand it. Skates means there's momentum. Is that, is that what it means? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do you even yeah. skate in Australia? What, where does that expression come from? Well, uh, yes, we do skate. I'm actually on the hunt for some roller skates as we speak, actually. Oh, roller skates. Okay. I don't know. That's but really I used skating. to ice skate too. I don't know how I used to ice skate too. Um, All right. What are we talking about? So Side the course, track. yes, the course, the course is coming. Um, the latest update is the videos are finished, and the uh, workbook, the accompanying workbook, has been drafted. I need to look at look over that this weekend, while I'm also writing a new book, which I'm working with a local publisher on. Hey now, so, hey now, hey, hey, hey! It's pretty exciting. Um, so yeah, so the whole thing about what's, what, what our process in the morning is, it's different for everybody. And my point about Mel's journal and similar to your point is something can be a great idea and yet still not necessarily resonate with us. And that doesn't make it wrong and it doesn't make us wrong. Yeah. We have to find our own way of, of starting the day. And I think, I think it's a work in progress for many of us. Uh, everybody, okay. everybody, whatever. Even mm. even Mel and Brendan are constantly making tweaks and changes. It's, it's ongoing. Mm. So mm. how should someone like me build more intention into the day? I think it's about being being consciously aware of what you're doing. So being mindful of what you're doing, catching yourself out when you're procrastinating or when you're um, being perfectionistic or when you're just scrolling mindlessly through social media. Um, the, whole, the whole point, people talk about mindfulness without really understanding what it is. It's not meditation. It's not colouring in. It's actually being consciously aware of the present moment. And so if you know, we can find any number of ways of enhancing our mindfulness skills, because it is a skill, it's like a muscle, you've got to practice it to flex it, um, but it's not difficult and it is about catching yourself out and say, what am I doing? And is this what I want to be doing today? What do I want to achieve today? And, and, and is what I'm doing now moving me forwards towards that goal for the day? So if you don't have a goal for the day and you're just spinning wheels or caught on that hamster wheel of just crisis driven reactive, your reactive behaviors throughout your day, you're still not being intentional. And that's where a lot, I think a lot of business owners in particular, um, get stuck because there's always someone who wants something. It could be your email notifying you every five right. seconds. That but what should I do? Forget involved. business owners. You what? need to. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, that's the test I want. You need to tell. Give it to me, test. I'm ready. I'm ready. My ears are open. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> oh my. We need to replay okay. that. Uh, Here's what you need to do. The tone change. <laughs> Business owners, you need to. That's great. I love that. If if I had a cell phone number, that would be my ringtone when you called me. <laughs> no. We could no. sell that ringtone and make some money. No, That's my next I business. do not authorize that. That is not authorized. <laughs> You're all the way in Australia. <laughs> yeah, like what am I going to do about it? Is that what the is that how that sentence right? is going to finish? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so what you need to do? Yeah. If yeah, you want to yeah. be more intentional, if you yes. want to be more intentional, mm -hmm. it's a five minute thing in the morning literally like Mel's journal sort okay. of was intended to be but it's just a five minute thing of just 
Cool. So what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm gonna write. I'm gonna do it. This is now. It's not the Brendan routine. It's not the Mel Robbins routine. It's the <laughs> test Crawley mentalist, like specified just for me. Morning routine. Okay. Five minutes. What okay. am I doing in these five minutes? What am I gonna do? I'll do it. I'm gonna do my homework and then report back. Oh my so, gosh! <laughs> so much responsibility. I don't know. Of course. How to handle it. Listen. That's it. So what am I doing in my five minutes? Okay, in your five minutes. Okay, so you are calming yourself down stop bouncing calm settle oh, okay. stand but this still, is first thing in the morning like I'm... A, i don't care it doesn't have to be first thing in the morning it can be first thing in your morning first thing <laughs> in your working morning okay okay i'm not saying okay. it has to be 6 a.m okay there's no time of when this, yeah, but, this is it's the time okay but Didn't i wake up but i just start working time? i woke up at 6 30 started working on my thumbnails i'm not just sitting there watching the sunrise and uh, what else do people do? I don't know what people do. I'm not watching Netflix or, hey, I'm up early. Great. Let's, let's do some. Nobody wakes up at 6.30 to watch Netflix, do they? I don't know. Um, what do people do when they wake up at 6.30? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Well, I, I don't know. Everyone okay. Calm it. myself down. I'm not, I'm not, calm I'm not, but I don't down. come to my trampoline and like bounce at 6.30 in the morning either. No, but you're bouncing now. So yeah, that's, okay. what, that's why that, that's why that made it in there. Okay. So, but I wrote it okay, down. It, it is. Okay, good. Okay, okay. Stop calm asking. myself down. Um, calm yourself down. Stop talking. Um, and you just focus for a minute on what is the one thing. And there's a whole book on that. The one thing. Okay. Yeah, what is the one thing that is my priority today? And does everything else serve that? Simple question. But I already do that. I have my task for the day. I'm like, a Friday is my CEO mm -hmm. day. And then, mm -hmm. and then like, this is a bonus add on. Of, I'm talking to Tess at the end of the day. But I already knew what mm -hmm. I had to do today. Winning. Like for, what? Winning? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I had to win today. Yeah, baby. Okay. Let's go. Okay. So I, I, had, I had my list. And listen, the thumbnail was not actually part of my, that took up a good mm -hmm. chunk of my day because I then made four other ones. Of course I did. And that yep. wasn't especially <laughs> part of what I, yeah. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't what I was supposed to do, but I'm not, I'm pumped from, I'm not judging myself that other stuff didn't get done. Like I'm pumped that. But this that. is, this is the thing. This is the yeah. thing that you, where you and I are very similar, you okay. know, it's all well and good. And this, I don't over plan. Okay. And yet, you know, I can run three businesses. I can sell one of them. I can throw a book into the mix. I can homeschool. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Wait, no, hold on. You, you would expect. Sell one of them. <laughs> You would expect, right, that I need to be exceedingly organized and orderly in order to achieve all of those things. But that's not my style. And in fact, I've got a, a, a post, you know, an Instagram post that says something like, um, you know, it's against my nature to be overly structured, but I know it's good for me. Right. So I strive to have some structure to what I do, but I'm not overly detailed because it doesn't work for me. So you're a little bit like me and there's that organic flow to your day as well. And when you're inspired and, and there's that spontaneous element, when you're inspired to do something and the energy's there, you've got to harness that. I think a lot of entrepreneurs really are like that. You know, need that. We need to harness the energy when it strikes or harness the inspiration when it hits and run with that. Um, because if we, if we, if we overly structure that, oh, well, I can't be doing that today because today is this other kind of theme. I can't be working on this today. It's going to be on Thursday. Then it won't get done because the moment will be lost. And we know that about ourselves. So I think there's like, you've got your theme to your day. You know what you're doing on, you know, you've got the ballpark of what you're doing within each day. But I think, I think there's still time to be reflecting on well, what does that mean for me today? What does that mean for me this day? So you've, you know, what is it? Monday is it your CEO day? Is that what you're no, no, Friday. Is it Friday CEO. Friday to see. Friday to see. But day. tomorrow's tomorrow's fun day with my wife. So I'm gonna calm myself down and say, what does fun day with Nina mean for me today? You don't need to do that. That's fun day. You know I don't have to do it on a fun day. I'm not. I'm not intentional on fun day. You don't have to be. Isn't it the weekend? Isn't it the fun day? Doesn't that mean spontaneous? But I'm spontaneous all the time. Yeah. <laughs> like so within You're within. You're so funny. If I, I have a, if I showed you my calendar, like everything is packed, right? I, there, there yeah. aren't, there aren't just chunks of time, even on my creation day, which is Wednesday, yeah. it's like yeah. packed with things to do, but I'm, I don't expect genius just to come. Like 
this morning the thumbnail was awesome, but that doesn't happen every morning. So when there's no yeah. inspiration, I have my schedule to fall back on. If I yeah. get inspired by something, I am, I am dramatically willing to throw away even my entire day to go off and do that mm -hmm, thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't stress and worry about it because I, I feel like I can always make it up to myself or the person if I have to cancel on something. Yeah, but how often do you throw away a day with Nina? You don't. Like it's pretty sacred, isn't it? It's pretty special. Yeah, but every day I, I stick to my thing. Yeah. For what I'm supposed to do because I'm not going to come back to it for another week. Now, there may be some emergency that pops up that mm. I get mm -hmm. thrown off, but but 95% of the time I'm doing the thing on the day I should be doing it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. I feel like it already has room. It's got structure and it's got definitely room for spontaneity. Mm. And the intention mm. was just in my weekly planning that, oh, today is going to be X day. Today's going to be fun yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, okay. But so if you want like, to be intentional as, okay. with each day, so if you want to be intentional with each day, it still is the same question. What does this mean for me today? Like this, this Saturday with Nina, okay. what does this day mean for me? Okay. What okay. do I want to get out of today? And you know, allow, and that opens the door for inspiration. It also opens the door for just being focused on, yeah. Okay. This particular Thursday or this particular Saturday or whatever day it is, I'm really going to focus on this particular thing and oh, that's right. I'm talking to Tess. It's going to be the central highlight of my week. It's going to be so awesome. You know, wait, <laughs> wait, week, month. Come on. It's a monthly call, Tess. Let's get it right. <laughs> oh, God. I don't even get a sunrise what, what... anymore. Jesus. <laughs> well, it's actually, it's actually a bit, yeah, I probably should have really done the dawn thing. It's Anzac day here today. So if I'd been up at dawn, I could have lit a candle in the window because we're, Anzac Day is commemorating. Well, I heard Anthrax Day, but I'm pretty sure that's not what you're saying. No, no Anzac. Anzac. That is. Australian, New Zealand Army Corps. It's, um, it's commemorative. It's a commemoration of oh, armed forces. Definitely better, better than Anthrax Day, for sure. Much better than Anthrax Day. We don't commemorate that. Um, and, of course, there's usually a dawn service. There's a dawn service, but there's no gatherings at dawn. But What's the service? Like a church? No, usually at the Shrine of Remembrance and other memorial sites. Oh, it's like a war mm. thing. It's a veterans. I got it. Veterans. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Veterans yeah, yeah. Day. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like Veterans Day. Yeah, yeah. And the big one, the big global one is, is global because it's Australia and New Zealand um, and we own most of the world. Um, the, big, the big event is in <laughs> Turkey. You got a big uh, raspberry for that one. Yeah, no, I, I deserve that. Um, was at is at um, in, at in Gallipoli, is it in Turkey, um, commemorating the uh, First World in, War in November? But that couldn't happen this year. No, no, no. That's Remembrance Day. Oh, there's, okay. So Anzac okay. Day is, you know, it came out of the First World War and commemorates you know fallen soldiers at Gallipoli. My great grandfather survived Gallipoli, but it was a it was a disastrous oh. element. First world war. We won't go into history. I don't know why I'm saying it. Other than I could have met you at dawn today, you could have had your sunrise. There we go. But we didn't. Okay, so let me don't. let me tell you what's going to happen. So I like this. <laughs> let me tell you what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to do this for four days, and I'll, and and when I wake up and I don't have something on my mind, mm. this is actually fairly easy to do. And I'm going to go do it, and I'm going to come up with something, and and I might lead to, hey, I'm going to see Tess tonight. I wonder what I should ask her. I should ask her about this and I'll, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Mm. On the fifth day or whatever, I'm going to wake up and be thinking about a thumbnail. And I don't want to do this stupid calm yep. myself down. Yep. And what does this mean yeah, yeah. for me today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to work on my thumbnail. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm going to go work mm -hmm. on my thumbnail. I'm going to feel like this thing is a giant waste of time. And then tomorrow, yeah. I'm not going to come back to this exercise. And that's your problem is because that's you're being rigid in when you apply this. Right. So even while you're thing. talking, this is a 75% no, no, of the time thing. Oh my God, stop talking. It's a, um, it's, it's a, it's an, it's a, <laughs> you can do it any time of the day. You can, you can do it multiple times of the day. No, it's not even that. Like so today, it's not I, just, today I wouldn't even yeah. need it. Today I didn't need it. No, today I didn't need it. Today was like right. so on fire and ready and boom, 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 boom. And that's but, fine. Yeah, it's a 75% of the time thing. Fair call. Yeah. I'm judging myself. <laughs> no, but this is it. I'm judging myself for not following through because there'll be things in my morning routine that I'll do every day. Yeah. Like, 
Every yeah. day I will do, every day I will put on a song. Every day I will, yeah, yeah. I will hug my wife. Every day I will do these things. And it's super rare that that doesn't happen. Like at yeah, yeah. 98% of the time it always happens. And so I've associated my routine as core to me. And so if it's in my routine, it's happening. And if it's not in my routine, then it's not. So I would put things well, like this in my routine and then not feel the value of it. And then say, well, I feel like a failure personally for not following through on my routine. See, what I'm hearing yeah. is you asking me how you can be intentional in your day because yeah. was it Dean or Brendan yeah, told Brendan. you yeah, or yeah. Sh Brendan showed yeah. you his method yeah, for yeah. being intentional with his day that what works for him. This is genius. Yeah. You already have a structure to your morning that sets you up for your day. Ooh. You don't need a new one. Ooh, uh, okay. You've got a routine. You've got a routine. Why are you, why are you pulling that face? Because I think, because there's, I, I, I'm more aligned with where we were before, which this, something like this could work 50 to 75% mm. of the time. Because on the days mm. when I wake up, there's some days I'm going to wake up and I have to do something. And then I get mm. obsessed about that thing and, and mm. nothing else will serve me. I don't need yes. this. I'll see, see it as a waste of time. But other yeah. days I wake up and I have nothing on my mind, whatever, like nothing is a priority yet. And so I'm, I'll, I'd be happy to sit down for five minutes and write about what I want, how I want my day to go. And, and maybe even just thinking, Ooh, what, like if I had some fun thing already on my mind for tomorrow with Nina, I don't want to sit yeah. in the morning and think, what does fun mean today? And what are we, I know what we're going to do today and we're going to crush it. This is a waste of time. Let's go do that thing. Yeah, but if I, I don't have, but if I don't have something planned in the morning, it's a useful exercise that may lead yeah, to yeah. brainstorming something. Yeah, okay. So this is a 75% of the that's... time thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I can't judge myself. Is... No, not following you can't through. judge yourself for yeah, not following yeah, yeah. through because it's no, not necessary. No. It's not a, it's not, the, and I think this is why, you know, same story with me. It hasn't resonated for me to do someone else's routine every morning because it's not necessarily where I need to be putting my head on that Ooh. on any given so, day. So how like, many days, how many, how much should you actually be using the five second journal? Every day. No, you don't want to do it every day. Come on. When do you actually, when is, when does it actually serve you? I don't use it at all. I know you don't, but because it doesn't serve you every day. When should you actually use it? Well, should is, is an interesting word. Oh, look, there's things in here I've written. <gasps> What is it? First of first of May two thousand and eighteen. <laughs> that was that it. Is that is that all you've written? Three pages since May of two thousand eighteen. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe four. <laughs> well, I carry it around because one day I might actually use it. No, but here's the, the thing: point... like your number, if I'm fifty to seventy-five percent, your number is like ten to twenty. You should be using it on 10 to 20% of the days. It doesn't serve you 80% of the time, but you so need it on, on 10 let's to 20%. let us think about this. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. What do I actually do? This so, what genius. I do, okay, don't put the pressure on me, man. What do I do? What do I do? Why? Okay, so I. So, what are you here for? So, I'm, I'm like you. I'm like you. I have a diary that's, that's my structure. Uh, and I have, you know, Mondays is my CEO day. So, that's when I'm working on my business. Wait, and wait, I'm sorry. Is a diary a, a calendar or diary is like your dear diary writing? Cal to yourself? Like a calendar. Calend like okay, a okay, calendar. Right, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Calendar. No, I don't yeah. do a dear diary. Not since I was okay. about 14. Right. Um, so Monday's my CEO day. That's when mm -hmm. I'm working on my, my business, my, mm -hmm. my psychology business. Um, meetings with my team, thinking about stuff to do with the business, meetings with other agencies and so on. Tuesday's my mentoring day where I'm on my business coaching day where I'm meeting people. So I'm like you, I've got this structure and I rely on what's in my diary or my calendar. And that tells me where I need to be. I know by the end of the day on a Tuesday, I'm usually run right out because I've just been on coaching calls all day. Uh, Wednesday's my family day and I do nothing. Wow. That's a lie. Well, no, it's a lie. What I don't, <laughs> I, I have nothing booked in my calendar. I try very hard not to book anything in on my calendar. So I'm focused on, on educational things with the kids. I still do my live streams. I still, you know, if I'm yeah. editing my book, I'll sit on the couch watching a movie with the kids and I'm editing my book on my laptop while we're doing it. Um, 
And so on Thursdays, one-on-one coaching calls, Fridays, a bit hit and miss at the moment. So I have a structure that I follow and I will use conversations that I'm having during the day to inspire the live stream videos that I'll do later in the day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so that then flows on to might be a blog post. So I, I'm very responsive mm-hmm. to what's going on around me. Mm-hmm. So I don't have a structure of, of how am I going to focus today because I allow the diary or the calendar to focus me on what I need to achieve. And then I, oops, then I allow some room for spontaneity, allow a lot of room for spontaneity. And I try to be done. I try to be done by 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon oh, so wow. that the rest of the day I'm more present with my kids because I'm you know, homeschooling and all that sort of stuff as well. So what um, is that journal supposed to do? The, 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 the Mel Mel's Robinson. Mel's journal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that supposed so, to okay, do? Okay, let's have a look at it. Okay, here's what it's supposed to do. It's... it's uh, like, why did you buy it? Besides a souvenir of the moment and a memento and yes, but like, what, what were you I hoping to get? I not only bought it, I actually bought it and gifted it to some of my coaching, early coaching clients back in the day, back oh, in that day. Mistake. Yeah. Okay. What? <laughs> well, it's because I need to Because it doesn't work mind. for you. You can't recommend stuff that you're not using, Dr. Tess. It works for a lot. I do know it works for a lot of people. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> whatever. What? I can't believe you just gave me a whatever. I can't believe you gave me that yeah, answer. That needs, that needs to be in the intro, whatever. Uh, well, okay, so what it's meant to do, it's actually, it's actually more about overcoming some of the psychological barriers to action. I think that's where Mel mostly Got comes it. from. Mm. Yeah, so she's looking at, you know, you're looking at how your energy is sitting, what you can do to improve your energy for the day, what you can do to improve your mood, what your most important task is for the day, your one thing, uh, what steps you're going to take to achieve that, a bit of a brain dump, your plan for the day and a confidence challenge to do something outside your comfort zone. So a lot of that stuff, I, I, I actually don't need. I don't need. You, you need a it lot of 10 stuff, to 20. Is, when you're procrastinating, you need, you need to probably, go back and do, yeah. 10 to 20% probably, of the time. No, not this particular gym. Not when I look at the content of what it's asking me to do. It's not what I need. And so. Zero um, percent. Five percent. Yeah. Five percent or zero <laughs> percent. Zero. So then, I don't need why, it. why have it around all the time and carry it for two years just to remember the moment? No, I don't know. I think. Do you know what? I think it's a reminder that I I perhaps need something, not mm. it, but I need perhaps need something that I haven't yet settled on. A bit like you're doing right now. You're saying you need something to get a bit more focused, and it wasn't Brendan's structure it's not going to be mel's structure that won't work for you either no no uh, i think it is but, it's just 75 percent of the time hmm. that's the problem i'm Maybe. judging it because it's not a hundred percent and if it's not a hundred i don't want to do it because i treat it like a personal failure if i'm not doing it if it's in my morning routine it gets done that's what evan carmichael does yeah but what i'm saying is not every planning structure is going to be the right one for you to use 75 mm-hmm. percent of the time Sure. Maybe 5%, 20%. Yeah. Like, but yeah. I think, I think that idea of like, what does today mean for me? Your question, calm myself down. Mm-hmm. What does today mean for me? I, and Brendan's are similar. That kind of like, yeah, yeah. look at your calendar today and, and see who you're yeah. meeting and how do you want the day to go? And how do you want to show up today as a leader and a boss and comfort zone challenge, all that stuff. Mm. But some days it's just not going to hit and that's okay. Mm. Like that's the difference. Yeah. 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 But, and being okay with that, it's not a failure. I think the other thing is also being aware of what it is you're asking of yourself when you're asking yourself to become intentional. And I think it's just about switching off autopilot every now and then throughout the day. So that's why I prefer a model that has you touching base with that a couple of times a day. Yes, you can have your start of the day thing. It can be while you've got some kind of loud music playing and you can be bouncing on your trampoline if you really, really want to be or dancing or whatever you want to do. But, um, you know, the start of the day, like the kickoff of the day is one thing. And so my process, literally my process, when I wake up in the morning, my process is to, um, I guess, to, to, I let the world in. And now Mel says don't. So Mel's is, Mel's is the opposite. Like she mm-hmm. will do her own process before she looks at the world outside mm-hmm. of her head. Whereas I don't, I do it the other way around and that works for me. So I'm looking at notifications because of course I've got contacts on the other side of the world 
I need, I'd like to know, have I been contacted by anyone? Has, you know, has Steve emailed me? Has you asked me a question? Has Mark asked me something about our podcast? Whatever, whatever, whatever. And I, I, so I look for those in the morning. I won't necessarily action anything, but I like to know what's sitting there waiting. Um, and I check my diary. I remind myself of what's coming up in the day ahead. And then, you know, get up. I will have music going in the bathroom while I'm getting ready for the day. And that really energises me. And part of that, if the kids are up, if, you know, if the kids are up, is me dancing like a complete idiot in the kitchen. Nice. Anything, I can do to, anything I can do to make my children laugh means that we've started the day on the right foot. All is good with the world. And then I can focus on what I need to do. We should see so that on next month's Zoom call. Oh, uh, you'll see it sometime. You won't see it on the Zoom call. They're still sleeping in today. Um, but you might see it on a story, an Instagram story. All right. Someday. All right. Yeah. Um, so it is also about how you want your mind, like how you want your mood to be. And, and that is what Mel, Mel does accommodate that in her planner. It's ha- what mood are you in and how do you want that to shift? And I will use music a lot of the time to shift the mood. Um, it works really, really well for me. 100% of the time, I reckon. So I have a playlist and it was designed for use when I was walking, you know, for exercise. But I now use it all the time because it's such a good, positive, uplifting, fun. It's a fun playlist. So for me, the day starts with fun and it ends with fun and then everybody's happy. So that's my method. But I will also make sure I pull my head out of autopilot as often as I can through the day. I will stop. Is this what I wanted to achieve today? Because I might be caught up in emails when I really wanted to get a chapter of my book edited. Ah. You see what I mean? Yeah. So stop and get that, that, that momentary intentional approach throughout the day just checking in with yourself and say, hang on a minute, whoa, calm down, slow down, stop. Is this what you want to be spending your time on today? That's the, that's what I meant by that uh, intermittent intentionality across the course of the day. Yeah. I don't need that. And it's okay if the answer is yes. Yeah. It's okay if the answer is yes. You know, if you, if you've thrown your morning because you're focusing on a new thumbnail and that's intentional, Mm -hmm. then it is intentional. You know, there's nothing wrong in that. Yeah, yeah, I don't need that. I don't. I don't judge myself for that. I mean, yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't judge myself for it. But it's also about: Am I doing the thing that I actually want to be doing? That is my priority, or has somehow, because I've entered autopilot, has the focus shifted into somebody else's priority? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And if it's not my priority, why am I doing it now? Why? Why don't I do that later? So most people who work closely with me know. The last thing to do if you want to get my attention is email me because it's the thing I always try to leave till last to attend to because it's not my priority. It's somebody else's. If, if someone needs me and they need me urgently, they know how to reach me and it's not by email. How would I reach you? I don't even know how I reach you. Sandra would reach you. <laughs> on, on the bat phone. <laughs> the bat phone. phone. Sandra would reach yeah, you. Exactly. Uh, well Sandra yeah, yeah. emailed me I mean I, I must say I do scan my I scan my inbox and there's a select number of people who would be <laughs> oh wait no no we're not dancing yeah <laughs> <laughs> so the business <laughs> <laughs> yeah I very rarely oh I very rarely find myself during the day saying this is a waste of my time I, sh- I shouldn't be doing this I got off track no it's not a waste of my time it's not my priority right now because exactly. everything I've put my attention to is important but is it my priority or is it somebody else's priority yeah and that sounds like a horribly selfish thing and no, no, it's great. Um, and I think as CEOs of our own businesses and you I often talk you yeah you have to yep. you have to prioritize your priorities otherwise Otherwise, that's where you get stuck in that hamster wheel of the day-to-day operations and you're not actually being strategic. You're not actually moving forward. And, of course, email inboxes are notorious. It's mine, mine has gotten better. My team used to CC me in on everything, so I would get swamped with emails and not know what I actually needed to attend to. And they don't do that anymore, which is fantastic. And we just have a regular meeting and they update me on what I need to know. Um, but... Um, 
you know, I think it's too easy to get caught up in other people's priorities. There's a great saying, and I always get it back to front, but it's something like... Um, Why is the crooked letter? Yeah, it's something like wigwong, wigwong for Grease's Bridal. No, it's um, something like, um, you know, your... Urgent, your urgency isn't my emergency, or something like that. Okay. You know, just yeah, because yeah. it's just because it's urgent for you doesn't make it a crisis in my life. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, if it is something that I do need to attend to and I can help you, help you with swiftly, I will. Um, but you know, for example, um, you know, I think about when I was a lecturer at the university and students were running late with their assignments, and then they'd get all hot under the collar because I wasn't answering their emails fast enough because they had left their assignment to the last minute. Like that's not my crisis. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that you're you're behind the eight ball with your timeline and deadlines, but I also have timelines and deadlines that I'm working to. You're not actually so, even that sorry. In fact, I wasn't sorry at all. I lied <laughs> heartlessly and laughed behind my back. Behind my back? Behind their back. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Um, I, I was probably a bit of a pushover, <laughs> if I'm really honest. But, um, you know, so I think your day, your day is... You know, your days are pretty well organised, pretty well structured. And you've got that calendar schedule, the calendar schedule that locks you in to what you're doing. Where do you get stuck in autopilot? Like, where does that hit you? What's the vulnerable spot with that? Where you, where are the areas where you find yourself not being intentional or not being focused? I don't resonate with that mm -hmm. line of thinking. Um, I don't, I don't. I, I don't, I can't think of a time recently that I ever felt like, Oh, I'm just stuck on autopilot here. But my version of okay. intentional was more like, I'm going to show up for you here. I don't even know. What we're going to, I assume we're going to get something that's going to be awesome, but I didn't know what we're going to talk about before getting on, but I could have, like I could have this morning or five minutes before or an hour before or lunch or whatever thought, Hey, Oh, I'm going to talk to Tess. That's going to be cool. Going to watch the sunrise and cheer her on and let's come up with what, what we're going to, mm -hmm. you know, how do I want to show up for that meeting? And some days that would highly resonate with me. And some days yeah. so like, this is a giant waste of time. I need to go back and make thumbnails. Tess and I are going to crush it. Mm -hmm. And, and so all I, I think for me, it's in, I'm, this process has helped me answer the question is that, the goal is to be focused and intentional. And some days I'm already naturally like that because I wake up thinking about me thinking about my thumbnail is being intentional and focused. Yeah. Me not having a, a focus on my mind, then this process could be super helpful. Yeah. So it's a bit it's a bit like something to have in your back pocket for if you need it. Just like my calendar is where I have my set things for different days. But if I decide that yeah. today is going to be thumbnail day, I throw away my day and focus on my thumbnail. Yeah. I yeah. just don't treat my morning people, routine that way. That's the thing. So I have to add, I have to have pieces on my routine or the, the like, cause hugging my wife, that's going to happen every day. That's part of the routine. Yeah, it's part I of my system. So. Sure. But, but like you would hope that like Oprah says, Hey, if you don't have five minutes to center yourself in the morning, you don't have a life or something. Um, so lack of time isn't the problem. No, I'm just wondering, some people find it really helpful to have something visual as a reminder to check in. Uh, I'll, it's, um, not, it's not a, it's not a, sorry to interrupt, but it's not a remembering thing. It's a feeling thing. I don't feel this is valuable right now. And so I'm going to do it because I told myself I was going to do it because that's what Evan Carmichael does. It's more an identity <laughs> thing. No, no, like mm -hmm. you laugh, but like, mm -hmm. this is why I, I struggle with it because I built my identity around my routine. So to have something that I do half the time doesn't exist. Like I can't be that person who does it half the time. So I stop it because I can't compute of Evan Carmichael doesn't mm. follow through on this thing. Right. Yeah. yeah. And because it does, because it only serves me half the time, then I'll just mm. stop it completely. If it's in my morning routine, I wasn't saying that for like bravado and fun. It's like, this is my no, problem. No, 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 no. Right. This is the, this yeah, is the problem. No, that's why I yeah, but it's the same knowing problem. that just to check yeah. in to say, Hey, am I focused today? Yeah, I'm focused. I'm working on my thumbnail. Let's go, yo. And like get to work, it's like check. Cause I want to be able to check the box off. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So either I do this yeah. or I do that and either of them, right. Not just judging for doing this one thing. 
Cause there'll be, there'll okay. be some days where I'd be happy to sit down with a journal and I got, I got nothing. Mm. I got no worries today. Let's just sit down and journal for mm. the day and see what I'm going to, Oh, I'm going to see Tess. Awesome. Yeah. But you, you hate journaling. You hate, you've told me you don't like to journal. You no, groan. Journal, every time yeah, I ask that's you true. Do. No, no. I mean, I, you groan. Yes. Journaling. You roll your eyes and you groan yeah, yeah. like a journaling, 13 year old. <laughs> ju- journaling is my 5% of the time, maybe or 2% yeah, yeah. of the time, but, but the five no, minutes you exercise. Need to do that. The no, five minute exercise. Have to be five good. minutes. They can be one minute. It yeah, doesn't yeah, have yeah. to be, you no, know, there's works. no rules around it. This is just the checking in. And the visual reminder is is more about um yeah, some people might stick stick something on the front of their laptop or on the back of the toilet door or wherever. Just what's my focus? No, I'll remember to and do just it. being just asking you yeah, I know that, but what I'm saying is that sometimes it's helpful to check in throughout the day oh uh, maybe i don't know i'm not feeling that at all but maybe uh, i mean uh, next month i might come back and say test that was genius last month that you said but during the day reminders of like checking i don't know i don't because I, I don't feel like i get distracted by people's emergencies mm. and yeah, and yeah. I, not not wasting time but on autopilot mm. i don't feel like i'm on autopilot yeah yeah okay so it is just a start of the day thing for you you just want to be a bit more focused before you kick off Focus in that, the intentional in that, like showing up for this, I could have had questions and thought mm. about what we we're going to do again, whether that is first thing in the morning or like the thing that prevented mm. me from, from thinking about what we we're going to talk about today wasn't uh, me being on autopilot all day long. It was me just not put into my calendar to think, oh, what should I talk to Tess about today? Mm. Just wasn't in there. Mm. And it could be, yeah. and some days it'd be really helpful. And some days my, I might feel, I don't want to come with anything. I want to just show up and hug Tess and say, what's up and see where it goes. Like that's it. And that it needs yeah. to be an acceptable answer, right? Which yes. in the past it wasn't. So I would stop. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've talked about that before about how you would over prepare for interviews and how you then more recently you interview and it's kind of like oh, it yeah. was now you're interviewing someone you weren't oh, overly yeah, yeah, yeah. prepared. I got and it down. It, we got it down. Fine. It's great. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. See? It works. It works. <laughs> Dr. Tess <laughs> is the mentalist in the house. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, he, I think for a lot of people, it's the scrolling on social media oh. that is where they fall over. And okay. I know that you're not a scroller. Oh I, I, thank you for the love on my Instagram, by the way. I'm noticing. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to give more love. Being, intentional. You are. Trying to See, give hearts. That's really lovely. Trying to say like believe and, I have, and so, mm-hmm. Yeah. And I say to myself, okay, so how does that work in your world? Because in my world, it's like I will allow myself five minutes here and there to scroll mindlessly and just see what pops up. And I'm guessing that's not how you roll. Unless you're in a queue for something, right? That's how that works with you, isn't it? If you're in a queue, you'll be answering messages or DMs or comments or things like that. Yeah. So, so how does it, with, how do you, how do you stop yourself from scroll, scrolling mindlessly? How do you manage your social media consumption? Um, that's a weird, I, I get the question for me. It's weird because I, I just, it bothers me so much to be wasting my time that I, I know. that I, that it just doesn't happen. Like, You'll never mm-hmm. see me. I don't care enough about my friends to follow them on Facebook and see what they're doing, right? Like, see why I, I feel so special. <laughs> well, no. So for the people who I follow on Instagram, mm-hmm. I'm with intention. Mm-hmm. There's intention, trying to show mm-hmm. love, trying to show support. Like, I know it can be hard to get um, comments out sometime, and I'm trying to encourage the people mm-hmm. who who I follow. Um, just to, I mean, it's not super insightful. Usually the comment, it's like a believe or a heart or just, just a little yeah, yeah. show of love, yeah, yeah. but I'm not reading all of the like captions and everything. It's like, I'm, I'm going to show 20 people today, some love, boom, boom. Hi. Oh, I like, oh yeah, I believe them. but I'm not mm-hmm. like, it's with intention trying to show them love. Um, in general, being outdoors and, and like in line or queue, as you'd say, yes, with, with Corona, I'm not taking my phone out for whatever. I don't know, like outside i'm not using my phone at all when i go out my phone is here so now yep. it's only when yep. if i'm in in the washroom i'm using my phone um yesterday was my public facing day interview somebody like last minute canceled mm-hmm. so i i had a like that's what i do in my break 
Yeah. In my head, yeah. it's just the same as being on an interview, like going to your Instagram and leaving a heart and saying, believe or keep it up or whatever, um, is public facing day Evan. And so if I have a gap in my schedule that just because somebody had an issue, I'm not just going to chill for 25 minutes. I'm going to use that time to, I might join somebody's live. Like, Oh, who's live right now? Oh, Dave Meltzer. Great. Hey Dave. And join on his live or do a bunch of IG DMS or any of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely on and so breaks. Think, yeah. And I think, I think it's an important question around social media consumption and time management because a lot of people struggle with it. And I like that notion of intentionality again. Oh, this is such a theme today. Oh my yeah. God. Uh, but I think it's also yeah, like, I just don't around. care enough. I don't care. Like, so, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, my yeah. wife I posts and what my son posts and, yeah. and my son almost never posts and, and Nina like once every two weeks may post. I want to see that. And it's usually like a dog picture. There's nobody. It's so my, cute. Mark's posting. Our mutual friend Mark is posting every day mm -hmm. or multiple mm -hmm. times a day or whatever. I'm mm -hmm. not seeing all this stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing all your stuff. Like, I don't care enough about what Mark is doing or what you're doing. It just doesn't. I never think, huh, like, I wonder what's happening with Tess's life and just go stalk you on Instagram or something. <laughs> Or just get bored and just, just like, check, just check scroll. out, check out my stories. Like, my stories and you're right there with me in my life. Yeah. It, it, do it too. But I'll think of people <laughs> and I, and I, I think, how do I, how can I bring them some value or some love? Like if I'm thinking about you yeah. in the morning, I'll, I might go to your Instagram stories and just check stuff out and like give it a heart or something and just yeah, yeah. love, but it's never, I'm bored. I don't know what to do. Uh, mm. So let me just go on my phone and I don't consume mm much for that purpose yeah i think i think um and just listening to you talk about that i'm thinking about some of the the ways that i'm consuming social media at the moment and and it's how i explain to people why instagram stories for example is so important it took me a long time to get that as well so i understand when people are relatively new to different social media platforms that they don't quite understand how it all works um because i now know as a consumer i'm going straight to instagram stories and i'm scrolling across rather than scrolling down so i'm looking at who i'm interested in there are a couple of local small businesses that i'm really actively supporting at the moment mm -hmm. and following what they're doing and cheering them on for the great stuff they're doing that sort of thing um and um so that's what i'm looking for so similar mm -hmm. to you and when when i think about it i say that i spend five minutes a day scrolling but i'm actually a bit more intentional than that. It's very rarely I, am I doing a random. At the end of the day, as I'm quietening myself down, I might do a random scroll down. But if, if I'm having a five-minute brain break, I call it a brain break during the day, I'm scrolling across. So it's actually much more intentional consumption, a bit mm. like you. And I think that um, people follow too many people. People, you know, have too much junk in their, like too much junk mail in their newsfeed. And I think that's something else that people need to be looking at intentionality. What are they actually allowing into their space? Things that you follow, things you've subscribed to an email, all that stuff, you know, you can trim that back and be much more intentional about what you let into your space. I'm unsubscribing and unfollowing things all the time. Just trying to trim things back. Hmm. Pow. Sold the business. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's the show, ladies and gentlemen. The Mentalist, Dr. Tess. Go check her out. Tess Crawley. Find her on Instagram. If, if we do hashtag Mentalist, you might get a special bonus from me. I'm just saying, maybe it might happen. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. Do not put hashtag Mentalist anywhere. Thank you. Love you all, but don't. On, on, um, on, on every post yeah. that she puts on Instagram. <laughs> I know what's going to happen next. All righty. Thank you. I appreciate you. Have a great weekend. And uh, hey, I got by the some, next time I speak to you, my book will be finished. My book will be finished. Well, it's what's it called? Off. What's the working title? Or is it finished title? Or working title? I don't know if I want to tell you the working title. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. What's, what's, what's no, the one-liner of like what it's about? So it's about, it's about cheerleading what small businesses have achieved during coronavirus pandemic the responses the ingenuity innovation oh wow so super that. timely 
super timely. So it needs to be written quickly. Yeah. And it's also about strategies that I've used in my own businesses in previous disasters that okay. apply now. So it doesn't matter what it is. It could be a pandemic. It could be yep. a staffing crisis. There's always trouble. Is, is in your business. two year journey, so, the past two years in there? The growth? <clears throat> Some of it, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, cool. Well, I'm looking yeah. forward to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there an audiobook version coming out? There yeah. has to be. Okay. There has to be. Are you going to read it? You, you can't read stop it. me talking, you know that. All right. Yeah, of course. I don't know if anyone else try and be my voice. No. Are, is there a video yeah. version coming out? Oh, why not? Let's have hey, all first. right. YouTube version? I'll watch that. Hey, that's world default. <laughs> really? I've never seen a YouTube version of a book. Who else has a YouTube Yeah, listen book? now. This is your, the book's about is ingenuity. The book's about ingenuity. Now is the time. Uh, I've seen people do it as um, uh, like promos, or them reading parts of it, but yeah. not the whole book. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. whole book. Yeah. That could be I would cool, do though. parts of it. Yeah, well, what I'm doing during the writing process, I'm keeping people updated with what, I, what I'm talking about. Um, so yesterday I did a live stream about a homework activity, not homework, but you know, like an activity that I discussed or a strategy that I discuss in the chapter yeah. I was doing yesterday. Um, so keep people up to date with the progress and then, yeah, definitely there'll be lots of conversations about how to get clever and creative in how we market. All right. The All book. right. All and right. I'm totally open to a YouTube version of the book. You YouTube know, version. Be fun. I'll consume that it. It'll be fun. It'll be YouTube yeah. version for, so I read when I do, I'm <laughs> trying to read every night. It's part of my yeah. new routine, but, but yeah. I'm, I, I, I'm a slow reader. So like I'll read, yeah. my goal is at least 10 pages of a book, which is a pretty yeah. low goal. But so yeah. I don't, do you know, Chris Gilbo? I don't think so. He was the youngest guy to, to see all 193 countries in the world. And then he's written, oh, right. he sold like a couple million books all around like side hustle hundred dollar startup. Oh, what's, his, right, right. what's his big book? I forget his big book. A hundred dollar startup was one. Oh, anyway, he's going to kill me. Um, so he's got a new book out. Uh, and, and I said like, you know, a week ago, starting the new book, Chris Gilbo. And then I posted last night, got to page 12 of his book. <laughs> and then, and then he, he DMs me because I tag him. He's like, you only got to page 12. <laughs> like I'm a slow reader, man, but I'll get through it. So, I, you know, if you send me a book, I'll read it. Yeah. But it'll be a, it'll be a slow process, but it's well, it might audio, not be a slow I process. I wouldn't listen you wouldn't to the book at all. No, yeah. but a video, yeah. video, so the, video. Yes. Yeah. Well, it'd be interesting because the way I'm writing it in order to write it quickly is I am dictating a chapter a day. So I've got a book plan. I've got a structure of what the, what video, the dictate about. It. video dictate it. Video well, yeah, I could do. I, well, yeah, I haven't. Yeah, yeah. that's um, content. The, the reason I'm, di well, I know, I know, but the reason I'm doing it this way is so that it's, um, it goes through a process to be transcribed, and then I edit the transcription. So I'm hoping yeah, but, to but have still, a full draft cool, within a week and a half. Come on, how cool I is know, it? I, I know. For your I grandkids to see I, Grandma I, Tess <laughs> at sunrise, which as her go, as she goes through her process of of creating. A, if you're recording an audio anyway, just make a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonus yeah. uncut footage for people who buy early or buy multiple copies. You yeah. get clips. Yeah, 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 of course, of course, of course. Of course. All right. <laughs> so send me the book before our call next month. Sure. Done. At least an ebook, right? I mean, there's something. Well, the book won't be published. <laughs> It'll be the first draft. It'll be done. Oh, when do you get galleys? What? Or, Galleys, galley, galley's like the pre-launch version of a book. Oh, oh gosh, I don't know. I've only only spoke to my publisher for the first time last week. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's going to be a little bit of time. <laughs> but, but it's but this Corona's going to be. Fast. I mean, it's got to come fast. Yeah. So the aim is to have the book finished by the end of June, uh, for a uh, September October launch. Oh, end of June. Okay, okay. So you still got time. So I what did you I'll say be done by next month? Then. Okay. Oh, because I'll be finished the first draft by then. Okay. Yeah, but it'll be very much still in draft format. Whatever. Send me a binder. Mm. Or I'll print sure. it off with a cover page and I can hold Where it up. That? Huh? There we go. All right, we'll do that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, Tess. Yeah, Appreciate you. Happy weekend. Thank you. Always back at you, you too. <sighs> Stop the business. Stop the business. <laughs> Stop the business.
If you want to see the last time Dr. Tess and I came on, had fun, and she kicked my butt, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there.